Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna do a simple and straight to the point instructional video on Hannah's new high range nitrate checker. All right guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And by now you've possibly heard that Hannah have released their new high range nitrate checker. This thing has been waited for us Aquarius for a long time because it does a great range of nitrate from zero to 75 ppm. And most important of all, it's a super, super simple process. I have seen a couple of videos on the product out there before, but I haven't seen something that was super simple and straight to the point. So here we are, let's jump on in and check it out. All right, so let's rip into it. Obviously, all of the uh, checkers are brand new, so the expiry on them is quite long. This one's the 6th, 2026, so we've got plenty of time. I'll open it up so you can see what we get inside. Obviously, you have this slip over the front. You get a nice uh, snap lock case. Now, I have opened and used this before, so the included battery has already been inserted. But basically, you just undo that screw. You need to try to take this thing off here, the base, fairly square because it has a little uh, connector at that end. But uh, you get that, you get a battery. It's a AAA battery if you need. You get two of these curvettes or cuvettes, or whatever you want to pronounce them. You get 10 reagents, okay? It's not a lot. And at the moment, they are not selling the reagent refills. I believe they are two weeks away. So uh, try to limit yourself to five tests a week for the next two weeks and you'll be fine. But uh, essentially, we get the checker. We grab a curvette. We get a reagent packet. I'll just pop one of these out. All right, now. I've got some tank water here. I use the Abrolos little containers there. Corals come ships from WA in these containers. Perfect to reuse for things like this. I've got another one here to put wastewater in because what I want to do is I've also got a little, uh, little measuring cylinder here and I've got my adjustable pipette. Now, you can see here I've got it at 9.8 milliliters, not 10. I just want to check that because um, I just want to make sure my adjustable pipette is accurate because I think it's been putting a little bit too much in lately. So let's go check that. 10 milliliters of water, so we know that's good. Let's get back to your regular programming. Let's turn on our uh, checker. You do that, you press the button once. It'll show all of the things. Then it says add C1. So we're going to open that up. We're going to get our curvettes. I'm going to give it a little rinse out first. All right, here we go. Here's the money run. 10 milliliters of tank water. Pop him into the cuvette. You see on there, it actually looks like it goes a little bit past the line, even when you hold that level. So um, that's why I like to adjust my uh, adjustable pipette every now and then, or calibrate it, I should say. Now, just off screen, I'm just giving this a little wipe, just to make sure there's no fingerprints on there. Give it a little clean on there. All right, pop him in. It says press C1. There only is one button. <laughs> you press that, it'll basically set that at zero and then it says C2. So what we need to do now is grab one of these reagent packs. Now, I know I've seen lots of YouTubers and videos out there following the lines to cut this on both sides and make a little funnel. To be honest, to me that seems so frivolous. I like to just give it a little flick, rip the top off, squish these to the side and uh, you've got yourself a little, uh, little funnel there. You can open these sachets however you like. That's the way I do it. All right, let's pour our reagent in. There is a decent amount of powder that goes in these. Let's have a look in there. That all looks good. Now the instructions do say we need to shake this vigorously for two minutes. Vigorously, that is. So we'll give it a good shake. Two minutes seems excessive. I like to give it a good 30 seconds to a minute, but... Uh, to each their own. Still some powder suspended in there, so maybe it will take a good two minutes. All right, that looks good. What I'm gonna do now is just give it one more little wipe, which I'm just doing off camera just to be tricky. <laughs> Bring that back onto camera. Make sure there's no fingerprints in there. All right, now the trick here, you've got two options now. If you press the button instantly, it will do the test now and give you the result. It technically needs seven minutes. So what you need to do is hold the button down until the seven minute timer comes up. Now, the reason why it gives you the option to just press the button is if you want to have your second curvet, which I have not removed from the package yet, and it's stuck in there good. 
If you want to have one filled up with empty tank or empty tank water, if you want to have one filled up with tank water, one filled up with tank water and the reagent and you want to do seven minutes test or you want to recheck it or something like that, you can just put it in and press the button. But uh, realistically, put it in, hold it down till it starts the seven minute countdown. I'm even going to peel the uh, protective film off because um, it's kind of screwing up the angle of the camera. All right, we're gonna let that go for another six minutes and 15 seconds and see what our result is. I'm expecting it to be somewhere between zero and five, um, which means I know the nitrate low range checker will do up to five. I'm all but certain my reagent is below, sorry, I'm all but certain my nitrate is below five, but uh, uh, man, I had a look at the instructions for that low range test and um, Man, that was intense. <laughs> it was just too busy. This one, sure, it's only 1.1 resolution, um, but it's one reagent. A couple minutes, he put some water and reagent in, just like the phosphate checker. And to me, that's what a HANA checker should be, something that quick and simple. So let's let it run its course and uh, we'll see what results it gives us. All right, our results are just about in. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna resist temptation to pick that up because I wanna keep it nice and level so I don't move the sample while it's testing. But now that it's come up, we've got a nitrate of 1.2, which is um, a very uh, precise reading for what it's called a high range checker. Typically nitrates, we're looking somewhere between zero and 25. And um, I don't know about you, but the uh, color charts for uh, my colorblind eyes going from yellow to uh, burnt yellow to orange to uh, red are just way too difficult to read in that scale. So to get something with a uh, 0.1 decimal place accuracy um, and a very simple to do process, absolute winner in my books. All right, guys, there you have it. What do you think of the new Hannah Nitrate Checker? Personally, I love it. It's the way checkers should be. 10 mil of water, one reagent, a couple minutes later, you've got yourself a digital readout with very good accuracy. Ticks all the boxes in my opinion, but uh, let me know what you think about it down below. I hope you enjoyed the no frills straight to the point video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Other than that, guys, I'll wrap it up. Till next time, stay safe, keep briefing. Bye.